Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is finally out and I already made a couple of videos about it, compare it with S21 Ultra, but it's time to compare the inner part of these devices and this is the software Samsung One UI 5.1 versus Samsung One UI 5.0 what Samsung improved and what's new here on S23 Ultra let's check it out so just to compare them and their versions let's go in settings scroll down and we can see that this one is using One UI 5.1 and this one is using 5.0 so let's check what Samsung improved here for S23 Ultra and of course we can expect all these features coming to S21 Ultra and S22 Ultra and probably even S20. And first and probably most important feature here is the fluidity. Samsung made One UI 5.1 very fluid, very very fluid. For example if you grab an application and you can see what's happened here, how fluid it is here on One UI 5. I already made a video about the animations and the speed of animations. It is very improved here on One UI 5.1. Now the phone is very fluid. I'm not sure this is because of One UI 5.1 or this is because of the new CPU coming with S23 Ultra, which is Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. You can check how Samsung optimized the animations on, on the new version of One UI. I will now slow down the video with 240 fps shot so you can check it better you can see how s22 ultra is dropping frames Second feature is definitely inspired by Apple and iOS, but it is very useful, I like it. So I am happy when Samsung copy a good things from Apple, Google or anything. Let's go in gallery and if you took a portrait photo and you hold here on the object, you can see here nothing happens on S22 Ultra with the older version of One UI, but let's hold finger here. And you can see what's happened, we can now copy the whole object, we can copy, share or save it as a separate image. Let's save it as an image, it's now saved, let's go and check it and you can see we have now here a new image saving just the object or just the man, the face or whatever you take on picture. You can also hold it and you can see we can copy it. And we can paste it, for example, here in Telegram. Paste it and send it. That's it. Very useful feature. Definitely inspired by Apple, but I like it because it's very useful. You can directly make a picture and make the whole thumb for YouTube video or anything you want. Next one is very important and useful for every Samsung fan using their camera a lot. Let's open the cameras and now if you go in more section, you can see what happened here. Now we have that expert role directly in our cameras here or older version of One UI, we miss that and we need to go and find the separate application for expert role. Here it is, you need to open that application and use those features like astrophotography and so on. But it is not inside the main camera. Now we have it here on the main camera. So more expert role. Very useful. Thanks for that Samsung. I was expecting that. Something else coming in the camera. If you open the camera and go to the selfie camera, the front camera. Now it's a lot more easier to change the color tone of your skin. Here we miss that feature. Directly in the camera department. Here we have filters and face. And here we have filters face and color tone you can make it natural or warm depends of your skin color and of course snap a nice and beautiful selfies the next feature is coming in the gallery which looks like the same but it is not it is coming with the new version of one ui you can see if you are going a picture and just swipe up to check the information for the picture let's go like this here and let's go like this you can see a lot more information we have now on One UI 5.1. 
we have those futures here in one ui5 but we need to tap here and check them and even here the megapixel count is not available but here it is 12 megapixel it is here written it is missing here and it is on the mine page no need to go inside details page and this is very useful especially for the s23 ultra which has the multi megapixel mode and these 200 megapixels so you can show to someone and compare them the next feature is coming here let's go to recents and open for example the gallery in a pop-up view you need to tap here and you have the options to shrink or enlarge the pop-up view but here if you grab on the corner you can very smooth resize that pop-up window to make it smaller, wider, higher and whatever you want, very smooth and very useful. Also Dex mode is also improved, now we have a new split screen, we can move the windows around up and down, in that way you can better manage all your app windows and make them more useful on a bigger screen. Let's move to widgets. Dynamic weather widget is now improved with new graphic and animations. But we have now a different animations and graphics here for One UI 5. Speaking of the widgets, we have now the new battery widget. And we missed that widget here. What about this new widget? It is an information for the battery about all your devices. This is only for my S23 Ultra but all your connected devices will be shown here and you have two different widgets. Personally I like, I like the first one, you can put here your phone, watch, Galaxy Buds and other devices. Very useful feature, sadly my Garmin watch can be connected to that widget. Here in connected devices you have now the option for multi control which you are missing here. Use the cursor and keyboard from your Galaxy Book to control the phone and drag things between your devices. Both devices need to have multi control Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. So this is a new multi control for Galaxy Book which is also coming. But here we miss that it will came with One UI 5.1. And that's almost every difference which I found between One UI 5.1 and One UI 5.0. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.